Jesse, thanks for having me out at your workout. You're preparing for a race in the weekend. Let's hear, hear all about it and how have the last few months been in training. Yeah, I'm getting ready for the USA ATF 25K champs. So those are in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yep. Um, been training pretty hard the last few months. Been doing some racing and definitely just training through races. And so this is the first one where I kind of like set this as a big goal race and we decided to taper for it and kind of come down. So I'm really excited to see how the legs feel on some fresher mileage. Awesome. Is it on Saturday or Sunday? It's on Saturday morning. Yeah. Okay, cool. So flying out today, Thursday, and then we'll have pre-meet stuff tomorrow and race Saturday. Awesome. So what's the last workout today, a couple of days before? So today's just some light, like 200s, just kind of tune up the legs, get some movement in, get a little bit of speed. So did a longer warm up and we'll do six to eight by 200s, just kind of floating through yep. and then a little bit of a cool down. Awesome. We have coach John here as well. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. Good seeing you as well. <laughs> how's, uh, how's things? Things have been going well. Yeah. yeah, excited to see a race this weekend and yep. uh, yeah. Nice that it's not windy. Nice yeah. that it's finally spring. No for snow. Sure. Awesome. Good day. <laughs> awesome. And what are the instructions today for the uh, for the 200s? Is there any sort of set pace or is it just roll out at whatever time? Yeah, just roll out a couple yep. days before the race. Yep. Um, our biggest focus is just kind of like flushing out the legs a little bit, getting a little speed in them. Nothing awesome. nothing too crazy or anything like that. Awesome. Cool. And which uh, which parent? You're, you're a Puma yeah, so athlete, so what's, uh, what Puma would be the shoe athlete. choice for something like this? I'll be wearing, these are the DVA Elite 2s. Yep. Um, so I've I switched between these and the Fast R's a little bit, which sure. have a little bit more um, cushion and bulk to the bottom. But I've been liking these a lot lately, and the second model just came out, and they're pretty great. Awesome. So, yeah. you, you racing them as well? Yep, yeah, I will be racing in these. Uh, I've done most of my races in these shoes, and I've really liked them so far. They okay. they feel really light, but reactive, and push me forward. So. Perfect. Yeah. Last question for you in your warm What's the shoe of choice for a warm-up or a, like a long run? Uh, my favorite right now has been these. They're a little beat up because I've been wearing them so much. But these are the new Forever Runs from yep. Puma. And they have just like a really great wider base, which I love because I have a bit of a wider foot. Sure. Um, but they're really cushioned and yeah, they've been my go-to for a while now. Awesome. So I'm curious to know, um, in a race like a 25k, would you practice taking in gels or carbs during? Is that what you would instruct? In a, it's sort of an odd distance where yeah. half marathons run on that line, but would you take advice taking in nutrition during the race? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna, this is, everything we're doing is setting up for the trials in February yep. of next year, and so Jessa's not gonna race a, a full marathon. So this is, this is an opportunity where the race is providing bottles, three se uh, sets of bottles for oh, her perfect. Yep. To, yep. to use, and so she'll also have a gel on her just in case, but yep. um, that's, that's everything we're doing is leading into this, into the trials, and so, yeah, we're gonna practice with bottles. This is gonna be your first time, first time in the race, right? Yeah. Yeah. First I mean, time. first time even bottle grabbing was yesterday. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. We weren't sure if they were going to have bottles, so okay. it was, you know, that this is going to be the longest race she's done, period, right? Yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah it's just going to be a good kind of setup and practice for, like, being patient and stuff like that compared to, like, um, doing a half. Obviously, it's, it's <laughs> not much longer, but it's a little bit, so it's kind of, like, getting used to, like, the little bit of longer distance. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to do 100 jog? What do you want to do? Yeah, I'd say like 1 to 200 jog in between. 1 to 200 meter jog? 1 to 2. Yeah. I'm good with either. Let's start with 100, see how it feels, and then if we need to bump it up, we can. Okay. Sounds good. If you had to give me a number to start with so I don't overdo it, what, like 38? 40. 40, 40. okay. Alrighty, party. Yeah, 38.6. That's a 40. Yeah, I mean, it's just. You want to go 100 or you want to go 2? Uh, 2. I guess this is my long place. What does the rest of this week look like leading into the to the race, John? So she's flying today, and then yep. tomorrow will be just normal easy run, and then um, she wants to do a few strides, kind of up to her on that side of things, and then. What was the previous like few days? 
few oh previous few days was um, we just did some easy threshold with some fours yep. on uh, on Tuesday and yeah lower mileage which you should be getting used to yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> holding things back. So. Normally, we switch it to Saturday just to have like an extra day. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Because we usually like to push a hammer. There's the long runs a little bit. Okay. Um, do you normally do them up here, or do you go down to? Yeah, we uh, go up here when we can. Yeah. yeah. If it's warm, we'll do it up here. Or if there's no snow on the fire roads, we'll do it up here. But sure. Um, if not, we'll go down to like Beaver Creek or some places in Sedona and stuff. Yep. Luckily, things are pretty much open now, so. Yep. Yeah, which is crazy. Now we get to I, be up I, here. It's surprising how fast it happened. Belmont's open, even. Really? Yeah. Well, that's nice. How's that last workout? Everything went to plan? Yeah, all yeah. good. Yeah, awesome. Some nice twos, so, so nothing too crazy. Couple of days till the 25k. Do you have a race plan in mind, or you know some of the people that you're racing? So yeah, yeah. how do you um, see the, the race playing out? Yeah, we've been I've been keeping an eye on the start list. There's definitely yeah. some women in there that I know will be will be great competition. Some pretty big names are in there. Um, like I know Kira Damato's going, Nal Rojas, Dakota Linworm, Molly Grable. So definitely people that I have raced alongside before, but I know are pretty developed in the road scene. Yeah. Um, so I think it'll kind of be like, just see what happens in the moment. Uh, I definitely enjoy pack racing a little bit more and yeah. pushing within the pack and kind of competing with the racers against you. Um, but you know, like if the body's feeling good and the, the timing seems right, I'm not being afraid to like make a little bit of a move either and make some other people hurt. So sure, sure. that's always fun. But yeah, yeah kind of just using race intuition and trusting my gut and going with going yeah. with the flow. Yeah, sure. Okay, good answer. Do you know if there's a half marathon split there, and if that's something that might happen for you? You've done rerun 112. Yeah, you know, I recently? actually don't know if sure there yet. is. Okay. Um, there's bottle marks at 10, 15, and 20k. Sure. So if they throw in a 21k mark, it'd be kind of nice. But 
yeah, I'd be curious to see what we come through in because my PR right now is like a 71, 20. 71, 20. Okay. Something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd be curious to see like how the pace is comparing to just other races that I've run sure. within this race. Yeah. Okay. All the best to you on the weekend. Thanks for having me at your last workout. Yeah, thank sure. you.